Believe it or not, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is over five years old now. That's half a decade. Feel old yet? Odyssey has to be the most polarizing game in the entire series, and you still see a lot of heated debates about it within the community to this day. I mean, God only knows, I used to heavily be a part of those debates. Those who've been with this channel for a long time are probably well aware of that, but through the years and as time has passed, my stance on Odyssey has definitely changed quite a bit, and I see the game through a different perspective than I used to. It has been a long time since I've played the game fully all the way through, it's been a few years at least, so later this year I definitely hope to replay it in full and make a more proper retrospective on it, but for now, I kinda wanna take a quick revisit to the game and talk about it to celebrate it now being 5 years old. That's right everybody, we're sending Odyssey off to kindergarten. So Odyssey came out on October 2nd of 2018, and 2018 was an absolutely stacked year for video games. Like, it's gotta be the best year in recent memory for games, although I think 2023 overall was a very good year for games too, but alongside Odyssey in 2018 we had the first Insomniac Spider-Man game, Red Dead Redemption 2, the Game of the Year winner God of War, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Monster Hunter World, Far Cry 5, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, The Shadow of the Colossus remake, Detroit Become Human, Hitman 2, Sea of Thieves, A Way Out, Just Cause 4, Super Smash Bros even, and it just goes on and on. 2018 was just ridiculously stacked, and despite this being a very saturated year for games, and especially single-player narrative-driven games, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was actually nominated for Game of the Year. It's the only Assassin's Creed game to my knowledge to be nominated. Maybe some of the older ones were at some point, I don't remember, but that's still pretty wild to think about. Obviously it didn't win, but there was no chance it was going to when there's games like Spider-Man, Red Dead 2, and God of War also nominated, but that speaks pretty well to how Odyssey was received. It was initially received very well, and not that it means much, but Odyssey is actually the highest rated AC game by IGN when they gave it a 9.2 out of 10. And Odyssey didn't initially sell all that well, but because of the positive reviews and all that, it climbed its way up to being one of the better selling games of the entire series, especially once people started buying it on sale and all that. So while Chris Critically, the reception was very positive. Among the community and fans, it was a lot more mixed. The discussions around this game could very quickly turn toxic, which I would know, considering I was in a few of those discussions well before I even started this channel. Now, I mentioned earlier that my opinions on this game have changed quite a bit over the years, and for those who were not with this channel a few years ago, I really did not like this game much at all, and uh, I was not afraid to voice that. If you're a fan of the new Assassin's Creed game, Games, mainly this piece of trash, then this video is likely going to anger you. I used to do daily Odyssey jokes, where I'd make a joke about Odyssey, even if the video had nothing to do with the game. Yeah, as they both brutally slaughter waves of incoming guards, you will win, it's gonna come down to the wire! OH GOD! NO! Why? Yeah, it was weird, but people liked it, so I kept doing it. In fact, I'm probably gonna see people in the comments of this video asking me to bring that back. But I think the turning point for me with Odyssey was this channel. Starting this channel and seeing other people's thoughts and opinions on the game really allowed me to open up my perspective more. Rather than judging the game through the lens of what I wanted it to be and the kind of AC game I like, which I think you all know is more of the traditional formula, but I started looking at the game from a different perspective. I stopped looking at it from my close-minded viewpoint of, oh, this isn't my Assassin's Creed, so it sucks, and just tried to enjoy the game for what it is. And once I started doing that, I found myself having a pretty good time. Now, it's still not one of my favorite games, in the series, but it's also not the object of my hatred anymore, either. So look at that, I guess I got some character development. But anyways, that aside now, how has Odyssey aged through the years? Well, it's aged really well, actually, which is why it's so hard to believe it's over five years old. From a visual standpoint, it still could pass as a game from 2024 for the most part. In fact, I think it looks better than a lot of games coming out now. It's a massive RPG with lots of content and things to do, it's polished with very few technical issues or bugs, it's a game you can kind of just lose yourself in and sink a lot of time into. It's definitely worth checking out now for those who haven't played it, especially with how cheap you can probably get it with
with all the sales. It may not be the Assassin's Creed I fell in love with, but that may not always be such a bad thing. This was definitely a game that took a lot of inspiration from The Witcher 3, which is actually my favorite game of all time, funnily enough. But from the choices, to the quest, and open world design, it's clear that's what it was going for. And while as an RPG, it's certainly not to the same quality as The Witcher 3, and the story has its ups and downs, but I think the pure scale and freedom to explore this game offers is a big reason why the people who love it do. Well, that and the setting. Ancient Greece is a very popular time period, pretty much everyone learns about it in history class at some point, or I did at least, and this is one of the best ways to get an idea of what life may have been like then. I mean, don't get me wrong, this game is not realistic or completely historically accurate, but there is still a good attention to detail that I'm sure plenty of history buffs love. On top of that, you get the historic figures and all the events, like the Battle of 300. That's what makes Assassin's Creed so good and popular to begin with. The ability to almost transcend time and put yourself in these historic settings. Like I said, I really hope to replay the game in full later this year and make a long video about it with my newfound perspective. But for now, happy late five year birthday, Odyssey. I'm sorry for all the harsh things I said about you in the past, even though some of them were warranted still. But let me know in the comments how you guys feel about Odyssey and how it holds up over five years later. And just please keep it civil and respectful. I know people can get very heated when talking about this game. But other than that, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you're new. A special thank you to my members as always for supporting me. And other than that, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day, Assassins.